My name is Janice Yates, and today I'm talking with Ms. Deborah Washington, and we're talking about her personal journey uh, with Jesus Christ, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her testimony in her own words. So you okay, Ms. Deborah? Yes. You ready? I'm, I'm ready. Okay. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Deborah Washington, and I'm from... Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay. okay. How long have you been here in Atlanta? Uh, for about since 2005. Since 2005. And what brought you here to Atlanta? Uh, Hurricane Katrina. Uh, I was, uh, it was in August of 2005 and uh, I was in a seminar project on Gibson Street when they had the flood, the Hurricane Katrina flood, and uh, we were, we had to, we had everybody had to get out. We was uh, we was uh, had to move, and then they had the the lifeguards that that had rescued us, brought us to the bridge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that must have been quite an experience for you to go through. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, uh, when I first seen the water, I, I think I was in the bedroom laying down, and then I, uh, I got up. I happened, I happened to go to the living room, and I seen, I just looked at the water and the flow. The water was rising under the door, and then uh, I told my son and my grandson, I said, y'all help me with the stuff to raise the stuff up high because the water is getting high, about to get high. It, it was on the porch outside already. And then uh, it got under the door, and then it started rising and everything. And when it started rising, we, could, we, we raised up everything that we could that was on the floor and everything, and by the bears, it raised everything up. And then uh, well, as the water got higher, we had to go to the third floor. And uh, they had two empty apartments on the third floor, and uh, and, uh, and my next door neighbor, we was on the first floor, and our next door neighbor, uh, my our next door neighbor, and uh, us, we, we each took one of the empty apartments that was on the third floor, okay. and uh, so uh, so uh, from there we stood up there for I, I forgot how long for maybe for a couple of days, okay. yes. So you actually were there for a couple of days before you were able to get out. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. And then, uh, and then, uh, risk. I mean, uh, the lifeguards, mm -hmm. the lifeguard with the boats, they had came, they had, uh, they had came, and then they was uh, rescuing us, and, and other people had some boats too, that they was rescuing people who was who was living out there in the Saint Bernard Project. So what we actually saw on TV, that's. That was you. You experienced that. Oh yes, wow. yes. How how has that made a difference in your life? Oh wow! And then after we went to the shelter, and they busted us to uh, from the bridge. They busted us to uh, Houston, Texas. And in the shelter, I was crying. And I asked God. I asked God, uh, why did He have to have that happen? Why did He let that happen? And uh. So uh, I was just crying, and uh, it was me, my oldest son, and uh, my youngest son, Larry and Leonard, and their friend, and they live, but his little friend, my oldest son, little friend, and uh, you know some pe other people, and uh, I asked God, why did he have to have that happen? And I was so scared, I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to go back. I just didn't want to go back. Mm. No, but you keep mentioning God. So God was in your life during that time. Oh so, yes. And what difference did that make for you? Uh, well, I just started praying. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get on my knees because I knew if I get up, I w if I get down, I wouldn't be able to get up because it's hard for me to get up. But I was just praying to God, and uh, He helped us get through it. Though He helped mm -hmm. us to get through it, and uh, so now we over here now. Mm -hmm. So after you came to Atlanta, did things get better for you? Uh, well, yes, it did. It did. But uh, my oldest son, uh, he, uh, I guess it was so big and everything, and uh, 
he didn't haul it. Uh, he was trying. He was looking for work in Atlanta, in uh, where both of them was, but uh, they. Uh, and he couldn't find work. My oldest son Larry and my youngest son Leonard. And uh, but uh, he he went back. He had, he had to go back. He went back to uh, New Orleans. Orleans. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is he still there? Yes, he's still there. Is he doing well? Well, he's doing fine. He's doing fine. He's doing, he doing all right. Yes, ma'am. He, uh, he has a job now. And he, uh, yes, he's working now. He, uh, he delivers furniture. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, uh, he, well, he, he was working in a hotel before Katrina, before Hurricane Katrina. Okay. He was working in a, in, in, in a hotel. So since you've been here, how have things gotten better for you? How, how has God come to your rescue again? Uh, well, I started going to church uh, uh, for uh, Miss, Miss Lynn, my, my sister, before she had passed away. She had, she had invited me over to her church, but I, did, I, you know, I didn't have the type of clothes. I told her I didn't have the type of clothes or the, or the, or the, or the ties and offering at the time. But... Uh, like she used to tell me, like everybody else say, come as you are. You don't have to. You don't have to ties. You don't. If you don't have the ties, you don't have to. You know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I started going to church, and my sister invited me to hers, and then so I didn't. I didn't really didn't go, but and then uh, and then I was invited again. Miss Lynn, who used to live upstairs from me, she uh, she invited me to BTL, Behold the Light Christ Christian Ministries. And then ever since then, I started going to BTL, and then now I'm still continuing going to Behold the Light Christian Ministries. Wonderful. So let me ask you this, Ms. Deborah. What have you learned about yourself from this experience? Uh, well, I think I've, I've learned that I've become a better person mm -hmm. through this. And, uh, Trying to, uh, you know, just getting through it, just letting, just having God get me through it and everything, okay. yes. And so I have, uh, yes. I think I, let me see something. And uh, yes, yes. I, I, a lot. What have you learned about God through this experience? Well, I learned that He's Almighty. Okay. He's, uh, He, He's, uh, He, you know. He's there. He's there when you need him, even though you, you don't think he's there. But he's he's there. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, so he was there with us and with everybody else too. Yes, over there. Yes. So I, I've learned I've learned some things. Yes. So as a result of what you have experienced, for people who are in trials themselves, are in situations that look like. God, where are you? What can you tell them as a result of you having come through? Yes, just pray and just turn, just just believe in God, and uh, just uh, have hope and trust, and you'll get through everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll get through. And what's your hope now? What is your hope for the future? Well, I was hoping uh, maybe to get into. Uh, uh, taking up some classes, okay. like some sewing or cooking classes. Okay. Okay. Yes, like right. in uh, maybe uh, either going to senior citizen. Okay, you want to work with senior citizens? But going to senior citizen uh, center, center. Okay. Yes. Okay, for your classes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I see. All right. So, is there anything else that you want to share? before we wrap it up? Uh, well, I'm just glad to be be here. Thank, thank, thanks to God. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just trying to do what I can. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, yes, just Doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, through God. Through God. Well, yeah. 
Your story and your testimony definitely is one of courage, of strength, of belief. Uh, it inspires me. I'm sure it will inspire a lot of people because we saw the story on mm -hmm. TV, mm -hmm. but it's different when you have lived it. Mm -hmm. And you have to actually lived it. And you're here to tell the story and you overcame that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very inspirational for me to know you and be able to talk to you. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Yes, thank you.